With the RV Advisor's roadside assistance plan, we've got you covered for just $99 per year. Visit thervadvisor.com today. This is the RV Advisor Podcast with your host, Tom Alexander. Get all the latest information, trends, advice from experts, stories from the road, and more in the world of recreational vehicles. Now, here's Tom. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the RV Advisor Podcast. I'm Tom Alexander. Joining us today, it is uh, a repeat guest, uh, our returning champion. There she is. It is uh, the RV mama herself, Jennifer Miller. Hey, Jen, how are you? I'm fabulous. How are you? I'm doing great. And, uh, uh, you know, I see you're in a, a very, very decked out, lovely uh, fifth wheel. And uh, oh, this boy, is look a at, look, wow, map. look at this. You know, we're getting the panoramic view here. Very impressive. Wow. That's quite nice. Beautiful. Quite nice. Beautiful. And you're in, um, you're near Orlando. Is that where you are right now? Yeah, we're camping in Orlando for the week. Um, we drove over to Tampa because there's a huge selection in Tampa, Ocala. They have several like massive RV dealers. Uh -huh. So we, we kind of had to see what all of the options were. We wanted to, you know, we're ready to upgrade. We've been camping for several months now. We've learned so much. So now we're ready for something bigger and, and more, you know, we're ready for, for our new adventure. Terrific. Well, I know last time we spoke, I think uh, a few couple months back, you were in uh, Colorado. And we were, yeah. yeah. We, went, we went up to Colorado and then down through Utah um, Arizona, and um, then all the way back across country. Um, we stopped home for the holidays to see some family, mm -hmm. and now here we are back in Florida. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, are everything okay? okay. It, it, did, did something happen? Yeah. There? Oh, yeah. No, it's okay. I'm so sorry. Um, some other people stopped in to see the Class A that um, Lazy Days has been so kind to to let me show so um they were gonna try to come in and check it out which is wonderful but oh wow um, okay. I'm sorry. so you know what that's yeah. it's hey it's it's live podcasting you know that's that's the that's the fun of it you just never know what's around the corner so uh, oh, yeah. uh I, I i know we want to talk about uh something pretty big uh coming up uh for you uh but nothing mm -hmm. quite new now i know that you've got um I think you said you've got, well, four books, and this is your fifth coming out, right? This is number five for me. Yeah, this wow. is number two for my RV Mama series. Okay, so it's my second so, nonfiction, which is really exciting. Great, great. So it's number two in the RV Mama series. And what's the name of the book? Yeah. So it's RV Mama Take Two. Uh -huh. um, RV Mama One was more of a survival guide for life in the rig. And it kind of went through our journey as we learned to survive camping mm -hmm. um, because this was totally new to us. So it was kind of our adventure surviving, getting by, but now we've learned so much. So RV Mama Take Two is really diving deeper into um, what life is actually like and more of the maintenance. I got a little more technical this time um, and it talks more about like long-term RV living. Yeah. Um, so it's more of, um, you know, how do I homeschool long-term in an RV? How do I, um, you know, what's the great debate for tanks? Do I really need to keep my great tank open? Do I need to close it? You know, so I, I got a little more technical this time. Um, and then I also, I kind of attacked the big, uh, misunderstanding. I think that a lot of people think RV life is cheaper that and more cost effective than maybe renting a place or you know a small home so i kind of went into my philosophy on that and i kind of analyzed more of the cost there and i think if you make some of if you make some choices in some ways it could be cheaper but in in our case you couldn't travel full time the way that we do yeah. for less than renting a small apartment I, I just the numbers don't add up you couldn't you couldn't do it in my opinion gotcha well, we'll, we'll find out. So yeah, RV Mama take two. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll find out a little bit more about it, and I also want to learn about the process in putting it together. So we'll we'll talk about that on the other side. 
This is the RV Advisor Podcast. My guest is Jennifer Miller, a.k.a. the RV Mama. And my name is Tom Alexander. Back in just a moment. The RVACA is a charitable organization protecting the rights of RV owners. With your help, we'll work with dealers and manufacturers to ensure quality controls in place prior to delivery of an RV. Additionally, the RVACA provides assistance to disaster relief victims. Visit RVACA.org. We are back on the RV Advisor Podcast. My guest is the RV Mama. It is Jennifer Miller. And uh, Jennifer and her family are uh, kind of hanging out in the Orlando, Florida area right now. And, um, you know, looks like the weather is uh, quite nice as it is here in South Florida. Uh, we've, we've got a, a nice day. So um, I know that, you know, uh, uh, every book is different. It's a bit of a journey. It's a bit of an adventure. But I assume to some degree, the process of putting it together isn't too different from the previous ones. Um, you know, it requires some discipline and, 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 and time alone and writing and, and thinking things through, right? So tell us, tell us a little yeah. bit about, first of all, the decision on wanting to do it, and then actually mm -hmm. putting pen to paper or fingers to keys. Right. So when I, RV Mama, you know, the first one, a survival guide, was so popular and people loved it. And it got really these just wonderful reviews and it got a lot of people's attention. Um, so then a lot of my reviewers asked for something more technical. They asked for um, like the RV Papa side of things. Like how do I empty the tanks? You know, what do I need to do for maintenance? So I started by making a list of the things that I wanted to talk about, the things that I wanted to kind of go over. Um, and I just, I started with the list and then I kind of went back through, what are my, my kids are in here laughing hysterically right now. So I, so I, um, I went through that list and I kind of, um, just jotted some things down. It was a travel day. So I, I think Scott was pulling the, the camper he was driving and I was just sitting there busy typing. Um, so I got it all on paper and then I sent it to an editor, my first editor for developmental edits. And she, she came back and she was like, this is kind of all over the place. It's like, where are you going with this? So I kind of went back to the drawing board, rewrote some parts, took some parts out so that we had this cohesive, well-organized piece that addressed a lot of campers' concerns, a lot of questions, but mm -hmm. it still has my Southern humor and my, you know, a little bit of my wit in there too. So a lot of people like that about RV Mama, two, RV Mama 1, you know, they liked that it was relatable. So you didn't have to be a full-time camper to enjoy RV Mama. You could, you could be just any kind of mom and read it and feel connected to it. So I wanted that piece to still be there, but also have some of the, the um, more technical side of RV life. So it's got that. Um, I sent it back to the editor. Um, she went back through it and gave me some great feedback. She proofed it. And then I started the pre-order on Amazon. So um, wow. I've, that's, kind of where I use for my publishing for RV Mama, it's just through Amazon. It's a great place for authors like me to kind of um, promote their work and, and share their work with the world. So yeah. um, that's where you can find me as well, Amazon.com. Amazon.com, that's where you get Mama. it. RV Mama yes. 2. And I, I have it on um, my site too, RVMama.com too as well. It's another place that you can find it, but take two. Fantastic, fantastic. So, we're we're going to, uh, and I, I'm assuming there'll be a three. So I've actually started the next RV Mama um, installment, but I think it's going to be a cookbook. Oh, okay. So a little bit of a departure, that, but that's, that's cool. Listen, a good cookbook. Yeah, you can never go wrong want, with I, a good cookbook, know? right? You got all kinds of stuff in there. So what what? Let's talk about that for a second. What, what, uh, what is the RV mom? What's like in your wheelhouse in terms of like a culinary uh, expression? So I, right now it's cold. So I've been doing, well, cold-ish, as cold as Florida gets. Yeah. Um, I've been doing a lot of like soups. My, my mom's 
famous potato soup or Swedish potato soup. I still make that. Um, a lot of like Southern cuisine. Uh -huh. My kids love tacos. I do tacos all the time. Yeah. Um, and then I think I'm going to get my husband to collaborate with me too and share some of his grilling secrets. Yes. Yes. So yeah. I hope to put that in as well. Excellent. Well, that's good. So we'll, we'll, we'll get a whole sort of, you know, cornucopia, if you will, of, 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 uh, uh, <clears throat> food, you know, foodie kind of items that we can uh, all partake and, and, and try out on our own. Yep. And it's funny because, you know, I always, I t I'll talk to a lot of people about, uh, other guys about grilling and grilling's their thing. It's like, well, do you cook? No, nah, I grill, you know? And it's like, it's like a whole other sport, you know? Yeah. Versus, uh, you know, actually cooking in the kitchen. And it's funny because growing up in, in, in with around my grand grandparents and, and aunts and uncles and the big Greek family, it was all about cooking in the kitchen. There wasn't, I mean, there was grilling too, but I had to learn, mm -hmm. it was like incumbent upon me to learn how to actually cook in the kitchen and pots and pans and all that and the oven and everything else. Cause if I didn't know, you know, it was like taboo. I had to learn, you know? So uh, I'm, I'm an okay griller, but I'm not, you know, I'm not a champion griller like probably your husband is, you know, it's uh, Scott is his name, did you say? Oh, yeah. yeah, his name is Scott and he's, um, he carries two grills with us currently. Ah. Um, he carries our Blackstone, which is like our, we use that for hibachi and like all of the stuff that you'd want to, like a, a solid, you know, flat top. Right. And like, these kids are having the time of their life in here. Oh my goodness. So, so. Um, and then we carry like a regular propane grill as well, because sometimes you want, you want to get that caramelized outside or, you know, a little bit, yeah. just the right amount of char. So we carry two currently um, mm -hmm. in the back of our truck. And we've today we actually looked at the third, so that may that may end up happening within the next couple weeks. You never know, it's got. So, right. um, but he he can do that too. He goes um, from cooking inside to cooking outside. Um, his father cooks like an Italian. He's not Italian, but he cooks like one. So we make <laughs> our own sauces, our Sunday gravies. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's all. Oh yeah. The, yeah. the 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 Sunday gravy, as opposed to the Sunday sauce. Which is kind of the same thing, except if you're from Jersey, it's Sunday gravy, you know. Yeah. So you gotta you gotta remember that the gravy and the sauce, but uh, yeah. it's all great. That's all I can I can it's all I can say. Well, listen, we yeah. really appreciate it. One more time, the name of the book and where they can find it. RV Mama Take Two, and it's best to search it on Amazon.com, or you can go to RVMama.com as well. Perfect. There you go. Jennifer Miller, thank you so much for joining us again. We'd love to have you back when uh, when number when that cookbook comes out, when uh, RV Mama Three hits the shelves or the virtual shelves. Uh, absolutely, for sure. <laughs> All right, there she is, Jennifer Miller, the RV Mama herself, traveling the country with her family. Thanks, Jennifer. Absolutely. This thank you. this is the RV Advisor Podcast. We'll be back in just a moment. RVACA is a charitable organization protecting the rights of the RV owners. We'll work with dealers and manufacturers to ensure quality control is in place prior to delivery of an RV. Additionally, the RVACA provides assistance to disaster relief victims. Visit RVACA.org. Back on the RV Advisor podcast, look who it is, our guest coordinator. It is Neve Carey Zacco. Hey, Neve, how you doing? Good. How are you doing? Doing well. And uh, I know we've just, you know, it, it, we've always got something cooking here at the RV Advisor. Always. Of course, our social media site is uh, is is uh, ready to go. And we're ready to go. kind of doing the last... Um, I guess you could say the last tests, you know, the, the beta tests or whatever that's called in the tech world and just making sure everything, uh, you know, all the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed and the buttons work. So um, it's going to be really cool because it's sort of like a, a Facebook platform for the RV community. 
exactly yeah it's gonna be super fun um uh, one of my favorite um parts of it is that you can post videos and post photos and kind of it's similar to like a facebook or one of those and exactly for for travelers and yeah. the rv community so it's, it's going to be awesome i feel like people are going to really learn um and just have one niche place yeah. to go to um to talk all things travel and rv fantastic that's great and uh we'll have certainly have more information for you as uh uh, as it uh, officially launches, whether it be a, a soft launch or or the the, the full the full Monty, we'll we'll see what yep. happens. But um, we'll we'll keep you posted, and and that's coming really really soon. So we're 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 thrilled. And uh, of course, here in uh, early 2021, we've we've got plenty more plans, including a new uh, Gigi show. Super um, excited for that. She's great on the television. Um, <laughs> in my years of knowing her she's done many interviews and many talk shows and hosted um very very large events so yeah, yeah i think i think people are going to really love to see her back on front of the camera again i'm super excited yeah yeah you know not just sitting at her desk but actually out in the field you know when we when she and i do the gg show the the just as gg show it's it's you know certainly um uh interactive in terms of the the uh, listeners and viewers get to to chime in and ask their questions and of course we're always trying to solve uh issues um and but but um it, with this show it'll be really more hands-on you know it, it'll for sure really be kind of getting her hands dirty so to speak and getting out there and giving us a bird's eye view of what's uh, more than a bird's eye view like right in it you know i it, you know so we'll we'll see that's coming up soon too and that's going to be called uh, the rvers best friend with the unstoppable the unstoppable. The Gigi. unstoppable Gigi Stetler. Yeah, there you go. There you go. It'll well, be great. Thanks again, as always, uh, for dropping in. And uh, we'll see you next, uh, next show. See you then. Bye. So long, everybody.